It's impressive enough to hear about any biotech company expanding its roots in Maine, especially one that could help lower the cost of prescription drugs. But the one we're about to go inside is doing something unique. For nine years, a Swiss company has been generating human-like tissue for medical researchers all over the world and some of the top pharmaceutical makers. And they're doing so in an old hangar building on the base of the former Brunswick Naval Air Station. Call your doctor if you have fever, stiff muscles, and confusion, as these may be signs of a life-threatening reaction. Upheaval can cause your immune system to attack normal organs and tissues in your body and affect how they work. Call your doctor right away if you have a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain. The side effects of any new pharmaceutical drug can often be scarier than what they're meant to treat. But how can drug companies do better testing? Most of the um, drugs, when, when they're just reaching the, the uh, clinical phases, about 90% of, of it, it's failing. They can start right here at a company called Insphero. Armand Wolf spent years working in drug development in the pharmaceutical field. Those drugs are failing on average 10 years into testing. 10 years spent on something that never reaches potential. It will cost about one to two billion. So this is a huge waste of, of, of money. Wolf is now the chief scientific officer for Insphero, which was founded nine years ago. Home base for he and Frank Juncker, the chief business officer, is Switzerland. But eight of their 60 employees work from this facility in Brunswick in a space called Tech Place. Originally, actually, we started out an office in, in Cambridge uh, because Cambridge, of course, is a natural place to be. It's a biotech pharma hub and we wanted to be close to our customers. But for a small company like us, it's very expensive to have a lab space there and an office. So we started looking around and we very quickly found tech, tech place here and it ticks many boxes. Tech place is on the base of the former Brunswick Naval Air Station and the work that happens inside of this old aircraft maintenance building is nothing short of incredible. And the idea of Insphere is to uh, put the cells in a much more natural environment. Traditionally, drug companies or researchers test their products' effects on cells in a dish, keeping things two-dimensional. But the way cells exist in a human body is three-dimensional. What scientists do here is allow cells to grow and assemble in a more natural state into a sphere to form the smallest functional unit of a human tissue. Because cells like to touch each other, right? So they feel much more comfort comfortable and behave much more physiological. The more comfortable these cells are, the more accurate the results are. So when you get better results, when you get more biological relevant results, that always is, saves you time because you know much earlier whether your drug works or doesn't work. Because if it doesn't work, you want to fail early. Failing early can save money. It can save time on testing. It can save lives. It's not depending on animal killing. It's not depending on, on treatment of, of, of patients without knowing what, uh, what, what the risk is. So this is a, a way how to, uh, to find out basic characteristics of, of a compound in under uh, investigative conditions. Through cell manipulation and growth within this lab, Insphero can also mimic the basic functions of a liver for drug safety testing, including the mechanisms by which many drugs are processed for elimination from our bodies. A pancreas, which can be further manipulated for testing diabetes drugs and therapies, and tumors that exhibit realistic drug response and resistance. So in the dish, and did you see here is a, a 69 well plate where you have a, a micro tissue in each well and you can then treat these micro tissues with a compound with a different concentration. You can do some time dependent uh, observation of, of uh, the, uh, the, the, the changes in, in, in those cultures. A biotech company mimicking the human body as much as possible right here in Maine, making major strides in research and drug development that can help patients all over the world. In the future, the drug companies will change their, their, their screening paradigm and, and, and the ways how they make predictions in terms of efficacy and also in terms of safety. And, uh, and I think we, we are an important part in, in, in that process. 
and I think it's a collaboration and just the, the synergism which could, could bring us and move us up to, to the next loop of screening and testing paradigm in, in drug development. I know it's slightly difficult to understand the thick accents those two guys had, but it was the more they spoke to me and our photographer, Devin, right. I just was blown away by what this company is actually doing. I mean, they are actually taking cells and putting them together in a way that we can test drugs on them. Bottom line, it's just really, really cool stuff, and it's happening in Brunswick. And, you know, most of us, when we think about prescription medications, we're usually thinking about the cost of them. We don't right. think of what the failure rate is in the experimentation. And that it's which costing is these companies $2 billion. Sky high and, and, and leads to higher costs. And also the other thing is it's, it's cool to see some of what's going on inside the old Naval Air Station. I drive around in there yeah, a couple times a year. Right. And you know, you see the signs for the businesses, but you never, or often never really know what's going on inside those buildings. So it's nice to right. get a peek inside. That said, from drones to aerospace to composites, there are a lot of cool companies working in tech place alone in that air station. So I think we have a few more stories to tell. <laughs> and so. not just about the brewery there. <laughs> right, exactly.